All right. <laughs> Just make sure. And we're off. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. Oh, ch <laughs> hate those guys. Money. Bam. That's how it's done. All right. This is all fucked up. Just keeping an eye on the stamina bar. Picking a weapon. There we go. Oh, one left. Sweet. Oh, fuck. 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 Jesus Christ. If you hadn't come along. You, you want to come with me? I'm gathering any supplies I can find at the water sports rental kiosk. Maybe you'll find something that'll come in handy. Sounds good to me. All right. Just checking. There's a table inside you can use to repair your weapons. Looting, looting, looting. Yeah, so that's pretty much the premise of this game is you collect a lot of stuff so you can mod up your weapons that you come across and it's pretty cool. It's easier to show you than to explain, I find. And that's actually why I've decided to make these videos. So, here we go. This repair bench can obviously repair. can also upgrade each of the weapons. I find that useless to do at this point. And then you can modify your weapons as well. Little tidbits and explanations of the game is what I'm planning to do as we go along in games. So. Let's continue, shall we? Oh, God. Bloody hell! I hate that sound. That sounded like an infected. They are my least favorite. Yep, that's an infected. Shit. Damn. Ow. Damn it. See? That's why I don't like infected. Oh, this might come in handy. Yeah, I got an idea. I haven't tried this out before. Hmm. Come on. Oh, fail. Run! Ow! Run! And you can see why I consider myself a noob. <laughs> this is not going as planned. There we go. Alright. That didn't work as planned. Here. There we go. That's what should have happened. <laughs> How's that? Got my knife out. Ah, oh, nice. Our first mob. Back off, you stupid! 
stupid bugger! Back up, grab my breath. Oh, fuck. As you can see, they have a long reach with that when they stagger forward. And this is not looking good. Usually, by this point, I've gotten my first skill. Um, I guess I'm just kind of rushing this game, which you kind of have to spend some time leveling up so you don't end up dying as much as I am. <laughs> it's funny. The other five times I recorded this first part, I did so much better. <laughs> yeah, I recorded it many times because uh, recording issues later on uh, didn't really work out. But if... I think we can uh, get far enough to get some good parts in now. Yeah, I remember when I first played this game, back when it first came out, um, I played it on PlayStation. And the first version, when you would kick, it wouldn't use any it stamina. Alright, here we go. Finally, the whole let's let us see part of the game. Alright, we got our first level, we got up to level 2, so we have one available point. I'm, like I said before, I'm going to put it into Fury, into Guardian. And what Guardian will do, will give, it will basically be a special attack where once the rage meter is filled, um, this character pulls out a firearm, a sidearm, they call it, and start, and I can shoot zombies with it, which is really nice. It lasts a, about a couple seconds, it doesn't last very long, but it's very powerful and very effective at taking out mobs and taking on the harder uh, zombies that are on later on, like for instance, infected. <laughs> it really destroys them. Um, but what it physically, what it actually does is it adds 10% to damage, a 10% chance to critical hit, and it also it reduces the stamina cost by 15% and health gain by 25% when this pops, like when you pop the rage. And you have to fill up your rage meter by killing zombies, pretty much. Um, and then later on, we're going to go down into Grim Inspiration, because this is where I'm going to build up my rage. Um, it kills with modified weapons, gain additional rage. The first one is 10%, and then it goes to 20, then 30. And so that's how I'm going to get easy 30% after each kill, additionally, than I normally would with um, rage. And... Um... These other two also build up rage, but this one is for when I actually kill a zombie or kill anything with kick. Um, if you saw, if you remember watching this video early on, I only killed one thing with a kick, so that's not going to be really too useful for me. So, that, we're not going to do that. And the other one is, um, while I'm in fury, um, I increase my damage. Um, it's called attack formation for that reason. So we're going to jump right back into the game here. Enough of that boring crap. Let's game on. Alright, we're going to use the card from Cinemoy. Open up the gate. And, uh... Kick some zombies. Ow! Yes, just swing violently and you'll win. You know what I had to equate this game to? Like Demon Souls or Dark Souls is you really got to pay attention to your stamina bar to make sure it doesn't run out. And because of that, I personally don't pick the heavier weapons to swing around more often than not. And um, since I've played this game before, I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to bring this over here for absolutely no reason. I, yeah, that's I, totally not like uh, something big going about to happen or anything. <coughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Uh, I gotta throw something. Uh, I like how in the beginning everything like rusted and rusty pipe is actually seems valuable to you. 